Welcome to Abundant Life Christian Center Church Service Online. We are so happy to have you. Thank you for joining. Please share with your friends and share with your family so we can all take in on this new experience of faith, of favor, and of fellowship. Enjoy the service. Good evening here, ACC family. Uh, this is our prayer night service on this Friday in January. Remember that this is our year of supernatural restoration. And may God restore us all in every area of our lives in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray right now, people of God. The first prayer point is this. Father, we thank you for the gift of life, grace, and privilege of crossing over to the year 2021 in the land of the living. People of God begin to thank God, begin to bless his name, begin to worship the almighty God, begin to appreciate him for the privilege of crossing over into this new year that we have never experienced before in our lifetime. And we are just experiencing it for the first time. Let's begin to thank him, let's begin to bless him for his grace, for his mercy, which endure forever. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Father, we thank you for your grace and privilege of crossing over to the year 2021 from 2020. In the name of Jesus Christ, Thank you for the privilege of this opportunity in this land of the living, O God, in Jesus' name. Be thou exalted, O God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Second prayer point. By the authority in the name of Jesus, I will encounter helpers of destiny who will go out of their ways to help me succeed throughout this year. People, okay, let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray fervently. ASCC family, begin to pray fervently that by the authority in the name of Jesus, I will encounter helpers of destiny who will go out of their ways to help me succeed even throughout this year, 2021, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your grace and mercy, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Next prayer point. My Father, my Father, visit me in dimensions you have never done before to enjoy grace for unlimited manifestations of my destiny and glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, my Father, my Father, people of God, make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are interceding fervently. Heavenly Father, visit me in dimensions you have never done before to enjoy your grace, to enjoy unlimited manifestation of your blessing, of my destiny to be transformed and my glory to be changed to newness, to wonderful things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. According to Jeremiah 33, chapter 33, verse 3, Heavenly Father, make known to me whatever I don't know that I need to know that will usher my destiny to the next dimension of lifting and total breakthroughs. Reveal your plans and purpose for this year to me, by your Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, make sure you are praying, people of God. Heavenly Father, make known to me whatever I don't know that I need to know. This year, 2020, starting from this month of January, the first month of the year, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, what will usher my destiny to the next dimension of lifting and total breakthroughs. Lord, make me experience it this month and beyond, in the mighty name of Jesus. Reveal your plans and purpose to me, almighty God. Reveal your plans and purpose to me, O Lord Jesus. Jesus, for this year 2021, by the power of your Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Father, thank you for the fulfillment of your prophetic declaration of supernatural restorations upon the ministry of ASCC this year, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for the fulfillment of your prophetic declaration through our senior pastor, our general overseer, Dr. Festus and DAA, of the declaration that he made of supernatural restoration upon this ministry of ASCC this year and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Father, we bless you, we worship you. Be that exalted, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us take this prayer point again. Heavenly Father, visit ESCC Church with fresh fire of your presence for numerical growth, undeniable miracles, and supernatural exploits this year, 2021, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, visit ESCC Church 
all, all ESC churches all over the world with fresh fire of your presence of the, for the medical growth, for undeniable miracles, for supernatural exploits. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, visit us, O God, by, by your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, help us to be transformed in your miraculous. Help us to be changed supernaturally, to experience supernatural exploits, Almighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Finally, people of God, let's take this prayer point. Every negative mindset, such as prejudice, racism, misunderstanding, demonic insinuations, are rendered powerless over ESC's vision, over our senior pastors and all the pastors in the network, and all the members of ESC. People of God, let's begin to pray. Ma se te te ma kunda lagada. Leke bo shakunda legede. Na se ke te liba sakoto robo sokoto. Every negative mindset, such as prejudice, racism, misunderstanding, demonic insinuations, are rendered powerless. They are rendered powerless. They are rendered useless. They are destroyed forevermore. In the family of ESCC, concerning the ESCC vision, and over our senior pastors, over all the pastors in the house, in the name of Jesus Christ, and over all our members, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
season we need him in this times that we're in hallelujah in jesus mighty name we worship amen hallelujah i want to welcome you to this wonderful platform ascc family and i want to seize this opportunity to say happy new year to you uh we thank god for god helping us and landing us into a new year 2021 and i want to say thank god for our senior pastors uh thank god for their life and the ministry of abundant life christian center for what god is doing in their life may the name of the lord be praised forever are you ready i want you to begin to share this broadcast to every member of your family and uh, your friends, your neighbors, your colleagues, and including even your enemy. Let them be blessed through you. Hallelujah. Are you ready to roll? Praise ye the Lord. Once again, let's thank God for the ministry of our choir, New Dimension Choir. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tonight is our healing and prophetic night. Hallelujah healing and prophetic night and i want to assure you god is about to do something great and spectacular in our life especially in this year and has been declared through the mouth of his servant that is our year of supernatural restoration god is about to do new things god is about to restore everything about our lives praise the lord hallelujah Amen. Before we go into the world, let us pray. Our dear Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name for this wonderful day, for this wonderful thing and this wonderful year. We appreciate you because of your loving kindness, your tender mercy. Take all glory and honor, even as we go into your world. Father, may your name be praised. We thank you for bringing us even together as family of God even to witness another new year. To you, O Lord, be all the glory. Take absolute charge, O God, in this ministration. Let your name alone be praised at the end of the day. Thank you, I should die. To you, O Lord, be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Quickly, uh, let's go into the word. I just titled this little word of exhortation, word of challenge, word of, you know, to challenge us. For what God has in mind for us this year. Praise God. Uh, I say uh, the topic is the era of the supernatural. I title it the era of the supernatural. Praise the Lord. Are you ready? Praise ye the Lord. We are in the era of the supernatural. And I want to take you to the word of God. Let's all open to the book of Joel. Chapter 2. Joel. The book of prophet Joel chapter 2 verse 28. Praise the Lord. And it says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. 29. And also upon the servants and upon the hands made. In those days will I pour out my spirit, says the Lord. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. And the last verse, verse 32. And it shall come to pass again, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in the Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, 
as the Lord has said. Amen. And the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. People of God, this is a new year. And once again, I want to welcome you to a new year 2021. And to God be the glory by his loving mercy, we are still standing. Not because we know how to pray most. It's just because of his mercy. And one important thing is that God, through us, wants to glorify his name on planet earth. In this era, in this season, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Upon all flesh, says the Lord. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servant and upon the handsmaid. This is the season, this is the era that God wants to showcase us as believers. This is the season, this is the era that God wants to showcase us as what? As believers. As his children. Amen. This is the time in which the people of the world should be coming back to church for solution. This is the time in which people of the world should be coming back to people of God for solution. Even especially what is happening and what is on ground. We all see what COVID-19 did. COVID-19 put a standstill to the whole world, to the globe. Everywhere was on a standstill last year. And we can see that a lot of people went down with this COVID. Praise the Lord. People of God, I'm here just to challenge you because the year is still young. I'm here to challenge you because the year is still fresh. I'm here to let you know the mind of God for His people in these last days. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And you could see in verse 31, it said, The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord. And 32 says, And he shall come to pass, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. This is the time to cry back to God. This is the time to go back to our maker. This is the time to go back to God to release, to manifest through us what we are responsible. God will not come down. God is calling you. God is calling me that this is the time he wants to showcase his children. And this time we have to come back to him in sacrifice, in seriousness, in humility for this to happen. People of God, terrible days are still ahead. That's the reason God is speaking to us that we as children should stand to our feet. We as children should take over. We as children should take our proper place. Because we have the solution in our hands to all the problems of the world. We have the solution to all the challenges the world is facing right now. And as we speak, COVID is still strong. It's still, you know, it, 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 it's still rampaging all over. And that's the reason God is calling. He said, it will come to pass. This is the time for the word of God to come to pass in our life. So that we can showcase his glory. So that through us, the name of the Lord will be revealed. Through us, his power will be manifested. Hallelujah. And also, for the supernatural to take over. You know, events that we make the old world to stand still. That no, this God of heaven and heart has returned. And that cannot be possible until we, his children, go back to him and cry out to him. That we need is release. And we cry to ask for this power. To ask for his spirit to be released upon the church. But we have some steps to take. Hallelujah. And that's the reason I'm here to please challenge you. To charge you up. That this year don't joke with your year. Don't joke. Don't joke at all. 
Don't gamble with your salvation. Don't gamble. And if you know you are not there, why not bounce back? I need you, oh God. If you know you have been playing church, this is the time to bounce back. This is the time to come back. A lot of distraction last year. And now we are all virtual. And before you know it, you see a lot of Christians, they have lost it. And I want to charge you all, people. This is the time. Unless we wake up, nothing will happen. And according to the scripture, it's a terrible day as I see ahead. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So we, the righteous one, we should seek after righteousness this year. We should seek after holiness this year. We should sit up with our God and call on him to please return his power into the midst of his people. Are you ready to pray tonight? Today is the first meeting for our Power Night 2021. I want you to make up your mind. As a youth, as a man, as a woman. I want you to, 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 to make up your mind. I want you to be serious with God. God, you are still alive. Use me to your glory. But you have to pay the price. You have to seek God's face. By prayer, by fasting. We ask to ask him to return back to us. And he will return back to us this year. And in winner's house. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wherever you might be watching me from, all over the world, please, I want you to make up your mind that one of your goals, the number one on your list, is the grace to see God. To see is supernatural in our midst. Praise the Lord God. And may the Lord God help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to seek His face. In seriousness, in humility, and God will show up and return the power back to His people. Amen and amen. Uh, we will soon be going into prayers now. Firstly, I want you to stand to your feet and begin to thank God tonight. Thank God for this commission. Begin to thank God for His goodness upon this commission. Begin to thank God for his faithfulness. Thank God that God has brought you safely into a new year. Thank God for keeping you all through what happened last year. 2020, it was a terrible year. A year that people will never forget. I want you to begin to thank God for you keeping me and my family to safely see a new year. It is your doing, oh Lord, I give you praise. Come and begin to appreciate God tonight. I want you to appreciate God tonight. I want you to give him thanks. I want you to give him thanks for him keeping you to see this new year. God wants to glorify his name through you. I want you to bless his name. Thank God for Abundant Life Christian Center. Thank God for this great commission. Bless God for what God is still doing and he will continue to do. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Father, we worship you. Thank you, Father, for landing us safely into a new year. To you, O Lord, be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty and holy name we pray. Amen. I want you to say after me, Father, pour out your spirit upon us at ASCC Winners House and the body of Christ in general. Father, release your spirit upon our lives. Release your power again into our midst. In ALCC Church, all over the world, and the body of Christ in general. I want you to begin to pray with fervency tonight. Lord, release and pour your spirit upon my life. Pour your power upon my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, for the supernatural, in these last days, Lord, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, Father, pour your spirit upon us afresh. Pour your power upon us afresh. Fill us with your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Fill us. Are you praying? I want you to pray with fervency. I want you to cry out. This is what we need. This is what we need for this world. This is what we need in this present time. In these last days, we need the power. We need the manifestation of God's glory. And it will only kick off in the household of faith. It will only manifest through you and through me. Because we are believers in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, pray. Lord, pour your spirit upon me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
One of the things that can hinder his move is when you are not living right. And I want to beg you that this year you want to turn a new leaf. This year you want to turn things around. Even as Christian, even if you are backslidden, this is an opportunity for you. God has sustained you to this moment for a purpose. Why not cry to him? Father, I call before you. Have mercy on me. Repent and forsake your sin. And let God take over of your being and let God use you greatly for his name. Why not pray, confess wherever you might be watching me from? If you have determined to follow Jesus, why not confess? I know I'm not doing well in this aspect. He knows. Ah, come on, begin to do what? Begin to confess your sins. Because I want God to use me this year. I want to be used of God this year. I want through me, the power of God will be seen in my generation. I want you to begin to confess. Ask for mercy tonight. Ask for mercy. Whatever will hinder me from the move of God in this year 2021. Father, I pray for mercy. Have mercy on me. You said you will have mercy on whom you will have mercy. And compassion upon whom you will have compassion. Father, have mercy upon me. Lord, have compassion on me. Father, return back to me. Lord, help me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Another thing that can hinder us us from being you know manifesting in his glory is the power of darkness is the power of darkness is the devil devil will just be distracting you with a lot of stuff why not pray tonight father lord every hindrance that will hinder me from your visitation this year father remove it by your fire of the holy ghost remove anything whatsoever by the power of darkness, Lord, remove it. Father, destroy by fire. Whatever it is, whatever hindrance on my way, whatever it is that can hinder your move. In this year, 2021, in my life, in my family, Father, I shatter you tonight. By your fire, I shatter you tonight. By your fire, I shatter you tonight. By your fire, I shatter you tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. To you, O Lord, be all the glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Say after me, Father, give me new depth of intimacy with the person of the Holy Spirit. And give me grace to use your grace judiciously this year, 2021. Say it again, Father, give me new depths of intimacy with the person of the Holy Spirit. And give me grace to use your grace judiciously. Come on, pray that prayer. Father, give me new debts of intimacy with the person of the Holy Spirit. And give me the grace to use your grace judiciously. This year, 2021, Lord, help me. Give me new depth of intimacy. New depth of relationship with you, O oh God. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, grant me grace to use your grace judiciously. This year, 2021, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That is to say, I will not waste God's grace upon my life. I will not waste the grace of God concerning my life this year. I will not waste time, oh Lord, this year. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Are you praying with fervency? I want you to pray. As we are commencing a new year, this is the best way to start a year. Why not pray, oh God, Father, in depth of intimacy this year. Father, grant unto me. Thank you, Father. To you, O Lord, be all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are going to pray. Father, refresh every testy soul. Amen. Are you testy? That is one of the things God wants from us. If your soul is testy, you know, if you are hungry for God, you will see the full manifestation of His glory. We are going to pray, Father, refresh every thirsty soul this year in our church, in our churches. Pour on us in ASCC the spirit of grace and supplication that we may pray and prevail in the name of Jesus. Come and begin to pray. Lord, 
Father, refresh every thirsty soul, as many souls that are thirsty for you. In the name of Jesus, refresh their soul. Refresh their spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, refresh their soul. Pour up on ASCC, oh God, the spirit of grace and supplication. In the name of Jesus, that we may pray and prevail in this year 2021. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Another prayer we are going to pray for the church of God is fire revival. Fire revival. We are going to ask God, our Father, our Father, we call on you, O God. Visit Winner's House, Abundant Life Christian Center, with what? Massive spirit of revival. Let it take over this commission. In this year, 2021, let it take over this commission. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let it take over this commission. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, massive revival in this church, massive revival in our midst. This year, 2021, Father, we pray, send down revival. Send down the spirit of revival. Send down the spirit of revival. Come and revive us again. Come and revive your people again. Come and revive our spirit again. Come and revive us, oh God. From the men, from the women, to the youths, to the boys and girls. Lord, we pray, spirit of revival. Father, let it invade this house. This year, 2021. Let it invade this month. Let it invade this church. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Are we praying? We are going to pray again and say, Father, anoint us as a church with fresh oil for the journey of 2021. Anoint us as a church with what? Fresh oil. Begin to turn into prayer. Father, anoint us in ARCC as a church, as a commission with your fresh oil, with your fresh oil, with your fresh anointing. Father, anoint us, anoint us this year in the name of Jesus for the journey ahead, for the journey ahead of us. Father, anoint us with your fresh oil and not ARCC commission with fresh oil. Anoint ARCC commission with fresh oil. Anoint ARCC commission with fresh oil in this year 2021. Anoint Anoint us with fresh oil. Anoint the women. Anoint our men. Anoint our youth. Anoint our children. Father, we want to experience you as never before. We want to experience you as never before. Return to us, O oh God, with your fresh oil. Anoint us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We give you all the glory and honor. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. And also tonight, if you know you are sick in body, this is the time. I want you to activate your faith. Hallelujah. I want you to stretch forth your hand, even towards the screen, as a point of contact. Let God touch you. God is in this place. I want to activate your faith tonight. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 says, And it shall come to pass. In that day, that his body shall be taken away from off his shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. It is by the reason of the anointing. I want you to begin to pray. If you are sick, let anointing shatter every spirit of sickness in your life. Let the anointing, the reason of the anointing begin to shatter every sickness, every body, every body in your life, every yoke in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to confess, begin to prophesy. Every yoke in my life, every yoke in my family, be shattered by the reason of the anointing. Be shattered by the reason of the anointing. Be shattered by the reason of the anointing. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be shattered by the reason of the anointing. Spirit of COVID, be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are sick, begin to speak. Begin to speak to that condition of yours. Whatever you are going through right now, he said, by the reason of the anointing, <laughs> the yoke we 
will be broken. Begin to speak in the name of Jesus by reason of this anointing. Let every yoke in my family, let every body be broken, be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. COVID-19, you are shattered by the reason of anointing. If you have cancer, believe God. I want you to activate your faith. Receive your healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have trouble in your marriage. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. By the reason of the anointing, my yoke is shattered. Every body is taken away. Father, roll out, roll back everybody in our lives, in our situation, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. To you, all be all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray again. If you know you are sick, according to the book of Psalm chapter 18, verse 45, is that the stranger shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. The stranger shall fade away and be afraid of out of their close places. Why not begin to decree? Every stranger in this body, ah, if you are sick, begin to pray in the name of Jesus, according to the order of Psalm chapter 18, verse 45. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every stranger, I command you to fade away. Strangers of sickness. Sickness is a stranger in your body. It doesn't belong there. Because the Bible says our temple is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So therefore, sickness is not permitted. I want you to begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every stranger in your body, begin to command them to fade away. Begin to command them in the name of Jesus. To get out. Command them to get out. Pack your load. Sickness, pack your load. Coronavirus, pack your load. In the mighty name, pack your load. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness in your body, hear the voice of the Lord. Come on, speak to it. He can hear you. If you can demonstrate your authority as a child of God, speak to that sickness. Speak to that situation. It's a new year. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, I command you, if you are on the hospital bed, if you are watching this broadcast live, begin to pray and command every sickness in my life every sickness in my body and if you know somebody that is sick even in your home right now begin to speak to it begin to call it by name if you know the name of that sickness in the name of the lord begin to fade away i command it out in the name of the lord jesus yes lord we give you praise yes lord we give you glory in jesus mighty name we pray and don't forget another thing god is saying in Mark chapter 16, verse 17, he said, And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpent, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. You, will, you are recovering tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this is your time to recover. This is the word of God. He said the sign, this sign should we follow those that believe. Do you believe? This is the year you have to activate your belief and trust in God. This is the year that you must cry back to God. God, I want you to use me for your glory. I believe in you. And if you know your faith has been shaken, this is the time. Repent, bounce back. God is going to receive you in the name of the Lord. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, this sign shall follow those that believe. Begin to speak to your situation right now. Even if you are out of job, begin to speak. In that whatever you want, begin to be specific right now. Whatever the situation it is right now, begin to speak. Begin to decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, this sign shall follow those that believe that in his name, in the name of Jesus Christ, they will cast out devils. They will cast out anything. Demons. Sickness. In the name of Jesus. Begin to cast out every demon in your own. In the precious name of Jesus. Every sickness in your body. I cast it out. I cast it out. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. I cast it out. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. It's cast out. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you, Heavenly Father. To you, O Lord, be all the glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah to Jesus. I want you to begin to put together your Holy Communion as our Father in the Lord. We'll be coming to administer it. Hallelujah. 
Praise ye the Lord. If you know God has answered your prayers, and if you know this year is for science and for the supernatural, come and begin to bless God tonight. I want you to appreciate God tonight. And bless God for what God is about to do in our lives and in the house of Abundant Life Christian Center. Glory and honor to His holy name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Over to our senior pastors. Hey, praise the Lord. Brutal family, God bless you. I am sure you are enjoying the service. You've been blessed. Thank God for the New Dimension Choir. Thank God for Minister Bankole and Minister Kindamola for that wonderful time of prayer. Go ahead and worship God. Exalt His holy name. Give him all the praise, give him all the glory, give him all the honor for the diverse wonders he has done in your life. We have prayed now we need to stay expectant. We have prayed the heavens have answered our prayers. Angels are dissipated to bring the answers. Go ahead and begin to praise him. Kalebo, so Father, we bless you. Yes, yes, we are using our praise as down payment for the answers to our prayers. In Jesus' name, wear one or two prayers before we take the communion. Get your communion element ready. And we don't just do it for the fun of doing it. Jesus said, as often as you do, you do in remembrance of me. So get the element ready. John 17 verse 12. Say, while I was with them in the word, I kept them in your name. Those that you give me, I have kept. None of them is lost. They're the son of perdition. None of them is lost. I pray for you this year. Everyone, including you, associated, affiliated, amen, with breakthrough family, none will be lost. Come on, say amen. Father, in the, in the year 2021, keep us all alive that none will be lost in the breakthrough family, in your own family. Go ahead and begin to pray. Say, Father, in the year 2021, keep us all alive, myself, my household, Everyone in the Brito family, none will be lost to sin, none will be lost to sickness, none will be lost to any form of affliction in the name of Jesus, as Jesus kept those that God gave him. Father, we pray that you will sustain us, everyone in the Brito family, go ahead and pray now, Father, sustain us. Keep us all alive. Neither shall any one of us be lost. Nobody will be lost. There shall be no accident, no calamity, no adversity. Say, Father, I reject any form of accident, incident, evil occurrence, mistakes, error that can lead to tragedies in my life and the lives of breakthrough family members. Throughout this year, 2021, we reject any form of incident, accident, adversity, evil occurrence, mistakes, error that can lead to tragedy. We reject it. Kalebo Soto Pre Niketosa, Jigedele Reboroska Pra Nikatasa. The year 2021 has ears. I can hear you. God said to Job, Have you commanded the day? Year 2021 has ears. You come and say, Year 2021, I saw your beginning, I will see your end. Go ahead and declare. As I have seen your beginning year 2021, by the grace of God, I will see the end. Kalebo Soto Pranik, I will see the end with joy and gladness. I will see the end with joy and gladness. I have witnessed your beginning by the grace of God. I will witness your end with joy, with prosperity and gladness and my family members. In the name of Jesus, as you have declared it, you will see every day of this year shall be day of joy for you, shall be day of glory for you. In the name of Jesus, Genesis 22 verse 5, Abraham said to the young man, stay here with the donkey. And the Lord and I will go yonder and worship. We will come back to you. Stay here. I and the Lord will go and we will come back. We're going to worship. We're going to come back. I pray for you this day. Going alive and not coming back alive will not be your portion. Come on, say amen. In this year, going alive and not coming back alive will not be your portion. You will not embark on any journey that you will not come back alive. In Genesis 18, 
three visitors visited Abraham and Sarah in Mamre and they left them with a miracle of laughter called Icy. I pray that God will visit you, will visit everybody in the Brito family in this new, this beginning month of this year with miracles that will bring laughter, with miracles that will bring laughter. God will visit you, God will visit me, God will visit your household, He will visit my household with miracles that will bring laughter. In the name of Jesus, any visitors that will announce sorrow will not come near our house. But visitors that will bring this, I mean, I will bring new news that will bring laughter. They shall visit our household in the name of Jesus. Finally, as I pray, Isaiah 42 verse 22 said, this is a people robbed and plundered. All of them are snared in holes and they are hidden in prison houses. They are for prey. No one delivers for plunder and no one says restore. Woo! But thank God you and I, we will not be plundered, we will not be snared, we will not be in prison, we will not be in holes because people, this is our year to keep saying restore, 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 restore. I see Jehovah restoring your dignity. I see Jehovah restoring your joy. I see Jehovah restoring your family. Whatever good thing you have lost, this is a year of restoration. This is a year of your multiple productivity. It's your year of multiplied productivity, multiplied fruitful what you have what you have not been able to amass in the past seven years by this grace of multiple I mean multiply fruitfulness it shall be multiplied in the name of Jesus you will eat in plenty you shall be satisfied everyone in the brittle family hearing me tonight is your season to praise the Lord this year you will praise God I will praise God and the Lord will protect you, will protect me, will protect our family, and we shall receive the power of the Holy Ghost for vision and wisdom. Ah, Amos 9, 14. He said, I will restore the fortunes of my people. Come on, say, my father, my father, whatever fortune I've lost, this is the moment of restoration. Go ahead and cry, Father, restore every fortune I have lost. Every fortune I have lost. Let it be restored. Let it be restored. Let it be restored. Genesis 42, 28. He said, my money has been restored. Store your fortune. Anyone that has lost money, that you have lost any precious thing, fortunes, your destiny, be restored in the name of Jesus. Kalebo Soto pray Niketosa. First Samuel chapter 7, verse 14 said, Then the cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored to Israel. Ah, I don't know anybody who has lost property. Go ahead and cry. Father, let every property I've lost be restored. Yes, yeah, some of you have lost land. This year, your land shall be restored. Some of you have lost houses. Your houses shall be restored. Any property you have lost, there shall be restoration. Finally, George, uh, Jeremiah 30, 17 said, I will restore health to you and heal your wounds. Haleba satire. God said, I will restore health. I will heal your wound. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, let there be restoration of my health, of my health. Heal every wound, sin or sin wound. Go ahead and pray to him right now. By his stripes you heal. Mazege bosoto pray nikata. Father, restoration of health to the brittle family. Let there be healing. Sin or no sin wound. Healed by the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and pray for this land. Labor so lift up your voice. Father, Restore joy, restore peace, restore order into America, restore godliness, restore joy, restore truth. Lie has, has overran our, <coughs> our cities. Go ahead and pray, Father, where lie has taken grip of people, restore truth, restore joy, restore peace into our land. Into this nation, go ahead and pray. Because Father, we agree tonight. Let there be restoration of peace, truth, joy, godliness into this nation. In the name of Jesus, rebels, there shall be no more confusion. Father, where there has been hatred, replace, O oh Lord, with, 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 with unity. Ah, we replace, O oh God, Father, with oneness. Replace, O oh God, with love. Father, where there is confusion, let there be order. In the name of Jesus, Rebo Sakapra Niketoli Rabaskali Abre Niketosa. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we give him praise, 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 praise be to his name. Praise is be to his name. Adoration, exhortation. We give you glory, Kapaya. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. 
You are wonderful. You are worthy. You are, you are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. And the rebosia, yendali rebosia. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Come on, give him praise for answering our prayers tonight, for the healings, for the deliverance. Ah, Kalira Rabarake Borokoto. Thank God for the restoration in Jesus' name. Pull out your Holy Communion right now and seal the prayers right now. Kalebo Sampra Likatosa. Jesus said, As often as you do, you do in remembrance of me. Every time we take the communion, Jesus is literally present. 1 Corinthians 5, 7 says, He is our Passover lamb that has been sacrificed for us. As they put the blood of the animal sacrifice on their doorpost, Jesus was sacrificed. And every time we take the communion, we are applying the blood of Jesus to the doorpost of our destinies. And the doorpost is a place of entrance where good or bad can, can come into your life. But what happens on that day of Passover, that blood forbid, I mean, that blood prevented the angels of death. He forbade them from entering the house, the houses where the blood was placed and allowed good things to enter. As you apply the blood to the doorpost of your life, evil, you will be exempted from evil, from calamity. The blood will protect you and prevent calamity and will only allow good things to enter your life. And by that blood, we receive joy. By the blood, we overcome darkness, devil, and the word of our testimony. Healing comes to us. So as you take it tonight, take it by faith. Believe that you are eating the body of the, the broken body of Jesus and his shed blood. And that power of resurrection of Jesus will enter your life and do wonders. Father, may the elements of this communion be blessed, sanctified. Let them as it were be the body and the blood of Jesus to deliver us from, from calamity and devastations and bring peace to all our lives. In Jesus' name, you may eat and drink. Amen, 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 amen. Breakthrough family, it's time to exercise our covenant right of giving. As people of God, we are in covenant with God. We're going to be talking about that on Sunday. We have covenant with God, and covenant is binding. And uh, even the prayers we pray, we pray on the basis of covenant. And God is set to do his own part. And as covenant partner, God says 10% of your income belongs to him. Period. That's your tithe. Amen. You, you are not even doing God favor. It belongs to him. It is your offering that is a response of love. But your tithe is a response of obedience to the covenant you have with God. Are you ready? You can use your zeal. You can use your um, text to give. Or you can use paper. Or you can bring in a Sunday for those who are coming to church. Amen. It's a seed you are sowing. And you are not throwing money away. So pray over it right now. Father, we agree for everyone sowing seed of money into your kingdom tonight. Let it go into our future. And come back uh, and come back as harvest. Father, we rebuke devourer for everyone's sake. Thank you for your blessings upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, blessings to you. We're so glad you joined tonight. Amen. Come on, say I am blessed. Type I am blessed. You know, we live in a very strange time. So many things happening, but God has prepared us to parallel opposing realities. Challenges on this end, the blessing of God on this other end, trouble on this end, but God says there will be triumph on our end. Let us stand to trust God for what He has promised that we shall be exempted from any form of calamity in the name of Jesus, and we shall be exempted from calamity in Jesus' name. So, well, listen, do your best to connect. 
Connect with the, the church of God. Connect with the grace of God. It's our year of supernatural restoration. Remember those five pillars? Multi, multiplied what? Productivity. Meaning they shall be multiplied fruitfulness. It's not a year of wasted labor. You will eat in plenty, you shall be satisfied. It's a year of praising God. And so a year of protection. He said the Lord in the midst of you. And it's a year of power. He will release, pour his Holy Ghost upon you. That he, you have visions flowing and there's going to be dreams. Amen. For, for greatness. In the midst of scarcity, dreams of abundance will be given to you. Amen. But stay connected. Don't be disconnected. Well, tomorrow, woo! Now, tomorrow is winning prayer hour with Dr. Antonio. I'm telling you, that's, that's a powerful forum. 8 p.m. tomorrow. Sunday, register to be in one of the two services. 8 a.m. and 10.15. Tuesday, Faith Over Fair. Wednesday, Youth Power Hour. Remember, Monday, the 11, 21 days, fasting kicks off. Get yourself prepared. If you don't have my books on fasting, get one or any book on fasting. You need to how to develop 21 days. I've written two books now on 21 days of prayer. One pastor bought 27 for her church. Like the other week, she called me. She took 25 again yesterday. I mean, no, not even today. She took 25 today. I mean, she said, whoa, that was the old one. Last year, she bought the new one. Then this year, she bought the first one. And she said, whoa. We thought this, uh, the one last year was something that the one you gave us this year is out of it. Listen, get blessed. Get any of these books. Let them bless you. Our workers conference, I mean, empowerment uh, training will be January 22nd and 23rd. Friday the 22nd, Saturday the 23rd. It's going to be virtual. Listen, we live at a time that we want to sharpen ourselves for the harvest in COVID era. The kingdom has not locked down. It's a very time, very important. People are suffering. God said, we must, through compassion, minister to the suffering and others. So it takes prepared people to enjoy the prepared blessing. So let's prepare ourselves for the work of our Father that requires haste in this time. All the SEC workers, 22nd uh, and 23rd, it's Friday, 7 p.m. during this forum. Saturday is going to be 10 a.m., just for two hours to empower us. Sunday will be our workers' appreciation. Well, hey, not out of work, but we need to respect our time. Always good. We miss so many. I mean, we miss all of you, those we've not seen. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Lift up his countenance of favor upon your life and grant you his peace now and forevermore. Amen.